Test, test. Okay, it looks like volume's good. I should make the cards bigger during draft. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, and I'm going to send out announcements, and then we're going to talk through the pack. Um, do, do, do. Okay. Um, so we're playing Draft 9, Ox and Minus at the same time, so this is a little bit more card combo and stuff than I generally play and prefer to. Um, we're in second seat this game. Um, so, looking at this pack, Minor-wise, um, Half-Timbered House, Field Fences, Strawberry Patch, Metal Piece, but probably just have to take Lantern House. In Draft... Nine, there's just a lot of good cards. And you can create some really good combos. So I think I'm going to try to Lantern House game again like yesterday. I think it's just pretty strong. We see a Constable. That's good to know that it's in the game. Important to remember. Probably not the pick here, though. I probably just take Chimney Sweep. Chimney Sweep is often like two stone and two points. And there's nothing, like, incredible here. So just a solid late game card is really good because there's not as, there's not that many solid late game cards in this deck usually. There's a lot of stuff that you want to play early. So I'm a pretty big fan of Chimney Sweep. Plus, I don't think I've actually played Chimney Sweep on stream yet with, like, CD cards. So not that there's anything special about Chimney Sweep. I mean, you just... <laughs> you save two stone when you renovate to stone and you get two or three bonus points at the end of the game. Um... But works really well off Lantern House, obviously, too. Like I said, I want to play like most of my cards. So making sure that just a solid, generically good card definitely is welcome. Um, this pack is less clear what to do with. The miners are fine, but not like incredible. Woodcart can be like reasonably good, but it's not incredible. Bricklayer can certainly hit into some really pretty solid combos, but honestly, all these cards are actually pretty underwhelming. This this Lantern House almost... I mean, it's a little early to drop Lantern House, so I'm not saying that we're doing that for sure yet, but we're not we're not finding the writing desk, bookcase, bookshelf. We're not finding the uh, education bonus. Um, I potentially take Bricklayer, though, just because it hits a lot of combos. Even, like, Bricklayer Hard Porcelain, if it wheels, right? Like, a free Hard Porcelain or something is fun. Uh, I'll take the Bricklayer, though. I mean, we could wheel, like, Clay Hut Builder or something, too. Uh, probably won't. Um, I probably will play enough Occupations at some point to get Woodcard out, but am I... How quickly, and is it going to be good enough? Or do I just take Moldboard Plow? We saw... The Conservator, at this point, it's unlikely I'm going to get much plow help. I'd probably just take Moldboard Plow here. Um, could come to regret that. The wood cart could be pretty good. We haven't seen... The other thing is, like, CD oftentimes can add some wood support, but we haven't seen wood collector, bonehead type stuff, but now we see wood collector, so... We also see priest. We see big country. Wow. My hand's really not a big country hand, but passing big country is just so, like, game warpingly crazy, right? Like, I do like blueprints quite a lot in general, but not necessarily with a Lantern House game. If I'm actually going to play this Lantern House, I need to be able to play my miners, so I don't think I can do that. I think this is just take Wood Collector. Wood Collector is very just solid and good. I mean, a lot of these cards are fine, but I think I take Wood Collector. And then... Let's probably just take the Big Country. I, I'm not totally sure when I get to play it, but even a pretty late Big Country is, like, fine. There's nothing wrong with, like, running even, like, a... Even if it's just like a 2.4 food big country and you play a fairly normal game and there's a constable, so actually like playing into that is usually pretty good. Because if you if you run big country, obviously it means you've filled all your spaces, but it also means that uh, you're usually fencing early enough and plowing early enough to make sure you get all your animals and stuff done. So yeah, I mean, whatever. Let's just take it. I mean, it's, it's the best card. Um, 
Winter Caretaker, Wood Hot Extender. Wow, these are some good cards. Uh, Clay Supply is also really good. I like Clay Supply a lot. It's a very easy to play miner that just does good things. So I'm taking Clay Supply. Um, Winter Caretaker helps solve my crops. So I'm, I'm a, I like that, but Wood Hut Extender is very good. The Bricklayer is looking pretty sad at this point. Like it's not hit combos and it's not going to do much. But I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to go Wood Hut Extender. I just think Wood Hut Extender is too strong here. Hey, Fofo. Yeah. We don't need Carpenter with this hand. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if I drop the Lantern House. The Lantern House might force me to play too awkwardly this game, so it's possible I just first picked a Lantern House in order to make sure nobody else is playing a Lantern House game. I can hit Seedling off of Big Country and stuff here. I can hit Seedling off of just like a big stone house. Like, somebody did take the uh, Constable, so making sure I hit Constable is important. You think it's still kind of a good Lantern House game. I mean, my cards are pretty good, I agree. But it, I'm a little concerned about what the next couple picks look like. This pack, I'm not convinced I want to play any of these Ox. Like, there are games where I never play... Uh, there are games where I never play Bricklayer. So, I mean, we'll see what the rest of my hand looks like. But I'm not convinced yet. I definitely don't need Carpenter with Wood Hunt Extender Bricklayer. I don't really care for Building Tycoon. I mean, Building Tycoon could maybe work. But it also costs food. And the one other thing my hand has none of yet is food. So, I think this might be just take Sheepwalker. Yeah, Sheepwalker is a good constable out. It allows me to also potentially just fence early, get a bunch of sheep, and solve my boar and veg needs. But I'm also thinking about taking Farm Store. Farm Store solves my veg needs. Alternatively, Hunting Trophy. Eh, but I don't know if I'm going to have time for Hunting Trophy. Crosscut Wood can also be pretty sweet, but it's not clear I'm going to have a ton of stone at any point. I think I take Farm Store here. The only other problem with taking Farm Store is that my miners are somewhat expensive, which makes Lantern House a little bit trickier, also. Um, see, this is part of the problem again. Like, am I playing any of these Ox? I'm not grooming this game. I'm not transacting. I'm probably not Resource Recycler. I already have cheap enough rooms with Wood Hunt Extender, so this is probably take Stockman, but... I'm really, war I'm really thinking I'm dropping Lantern House this game. Uh, we'll see what continues to happen. Uh, Sheepwell can go pretty well some games. I don't hate Sheepwell here. Game Trade is also a pretty strong Constable save, but I'm hoping I don't need it. Or is it just the safest thing? I mean, this gets a little bit too, like, how much do I want to leave Lantern House possibilities open? Hard Porcelain is going to be, like, the easiest thing to play with Bricklayer, and it helps give me Reno opportunities in case Stone gets tight. It gives Bricklayer a little more reason to actually get played. Sheepwell just gives me a little bit more direct victory point ceiling. Oh, hard porcelain here, actually, I think. I'd rather be flexible. Wow, nobody wants priest. That's kind of crazy. Priest is, like, actually f totally fine. I, Lumber mill is a pretty good card. It doesn't super save me that much wood this game, but I, I hate Dwelling Mound. Although Acorns maybe is better. Just getting some boar off Acorns is pretty good here. So Lumber Mill or Acorns. The other problem with Lumber Mill is I'm, I'm limited in terms of number of Ox. Although I'm, I'm really thinking I'm dropping Lantern House. This does not look like a hand where I want to be playing all these Ox anymore. 
I think I just took Lantern House out of the game. Uh, this is it in Draft 9, so, like, I'm never actually playing Priest, I don't think. I think Woodhunt Extender is just better. Um, Clay Needer is pretty gross, so I think this is Seed Trader. I mean, these are very expensive crops, but if I get a ton of food, it's an option. Um, and then I think this is just Acorns, probably. Um, Lumber Mill is quite good, but... Well, or is it Lumber Mill? Lumber Mill's very strong, too. I mean, Lumber Mill saves me. Then again, I'm not sure my game actually has that much focus on stone, right? Like, my game probably should be just focus on, like, build a bunch of rooms, focus on playing the plow, focus on taking lots of wood, focus on fencing. I'll take acorns. Acorns is potentially just food otherwise, too, and food is important for me. Okay, you like Lumber Mill here? I, I think Lumber Mill is very defensible also. I'm not going to lie. Lumber Mill would have been fine. I think Acorns is also totally fine, but I am willing, I would have been list, willing to list quite a bit. Now, okay, the real question is we have to decide if we're actually playing this Lantern House. And I think the answer is just no. I think Lantern House is... I think there's too many scenarios where I play Wood Hut Extender, Wood Collector, and Chimney Sweep as my only three occupations. And then I think there are also scenarios where I don't really want to play all these miners. And so spending my first two actions on three wood lantern house compared to just reedstone food and like two wood or two clay. Yeah, Teal's Teal's pace is great here. Uh, not confirming. We also see a pet lover. I mean, sheep flip. That's interesting. But pet lover means there's more food in the game, which makes the wood hunt extender stuff potentially even better. You don't see... I, there is no ox support in my hand, correct, Rage? There, I have no inherent reason to want to play a bunch of ox. I did not find bookshelf. I didn't find writing desk. No bookcase. No education bonus. No, like, papermaker tutor. Um, so... Without finding any of that stuff, I think I just first picked a lantern house that I'm just going to let die. I think the rest of my hand is plenty strong if I just focus on the rest of the good stuff I have. Set up for a constable if somebody's going to play it. Did Teal not realize that they haven't confirmed? Like, oh, nope, okay. What happened was when I did that refresh, it killed me. That's unfortunate. It's been my turn, like, the whole time. So, we lost a lot of time. But, oh, well. We were the ones playing with great pace. Yeah, ooh, two clay instead of Ock. That's uh, not great. Uh, I get that you really want a fireplace, I guess. But, uh, wow, and one sheep's going to get taken out. Yeah, we get Ock here? Absolutely. I, so, I mean, this is apparently the other reason that I don't want to do the three wood thing. I get reedstone food plus Ock in round one? Heck yeah. Hello, wood collector. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is pretty dreamy. <laughs> Uh, uh, we might be in the best seat. Yeah, I mean, Wonder Boy is a good player, but we are getting value town here. We got past a third pick, Big Country. We're getting this Wood Hunt Extender. This is a fourth pick Wood Hunt Extender, which also is just, like, zany. And then we just get to take great actions. I mean, sign me up. Like, pet lovering the sheep. Like, yeah, you add a bunch of food to the game, but not great. Uh, anyhow, I'm happy to take more Reedstone food here. Uh, I'm also happy playing Wood Hunt Extender, but uh, I'll just take more Reedstone food. That's fine. I mean, Wood Hunt Extender doesn't need a ton of Reed, but I just think Reedstone's food is such a good action. Person after me looks like they might be a childless. I'm not sure. So maybe taking two Reed there would have been better. Um, but whatever. Uh... This might be start player clay supply on the wheel. I don't dislike clay supply. Oh, I'll act, I mean, I just play wood hunt extender if nobody wants Ock again, which actually, yeah, Teal can't afford to, Teal really, I mean, Teal could afford expensive Ock, but I'm not sure Teal will go for expensive Ock. 
They also could just... Oh, yeah. No, they do expensive Octa. Fair enough. I mean, they have the food for it. So I don't get lucky value this time. Mushroom Collector, Porter, Pet Lover. These are not great cards. Uh, maybe it's a Stork's Nest game plan or something from them. Uh, okay. Start Player, Clay Supply, or Two Wood. Both are good. I guess I don't really need to rush the clay supply. I'm presumably losing out on the fireplace race regardless. Yeah, I'll just take two wood. Long term, by feeding this game almost has to be a hearth. So I am very willing to like take four clay and build a hearth. We're going last now. Slight sad, but it's okay. Let's see what Wonder Boy wants to play here. It is draft nine, so people's hands should be pretty good. I mean, people should have stuff they want to play. Wow, playing fishing net. That's yeah. Okay, I mean. fine it adds a bit more food like there's a lot of food injection in this game thus far too uh, i think fishing that's not that bad i mean the biggest issue is it forces you to take another reed but it's i guess you're just going to start player into another reed stone food but yeah like clearly you don't have childless now so i mean uh, to be fair they, they just never had childless is my guess and so they've just been taking the best value on the board which is totally fine um but yeah it's way less scary so uh, it does mean that the food pressure is a little tighter again, too, right? Like, I don't totally have my food solved this game. Uh, and taking fishing is now slightly poisoned. Uh, Teal is injecting a lot of food into the game, though, via Pet Lover and Mushroom. And presumably Olaren is going to solve their food by getting a fireplace. But we'll see. Olaren is just plowing again. That's fine. I really need a lot of wood with my game plan, so taking more wood is never sad. Like, I, I can, like, aim for, like, a four-room... I could go for, like, a four-room big country this game or something. Uh, it is Reedstone food right after. That makes sense. Um, major flips. I will take four clay here. Uh, begging student for Alara. That's why they haven't been rushing their ox. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. I will... Again, I'm taking four clay, although the porter here very well might take four clay. Uh, if four clay does get taken, then I'm probably taking three wood into three food this round. Okay, and it is going to be four clay. That's fine. Uh, I eventually want clay for a hearth, but I'm not taking three clay. So, yeah, I just take three wood. I need a lot of wood. I do eventually want to play Woodhot Extender, too. That's a little awkward. Am I getting three food? Uh, not guaranteed, so admittedly... There's no, there's no assurance that I get three food, but I, I think I do. Because, I mean, this should go, like, fireplace. And then it could go three food. Meh. We'll see. Wonder Boy does just look like they're kind of playing like me. Just take, just take good resource actions while they're available. Wow, not building the fireplace is very wrong. Bookcase, very good, but not playing the fireplace there is pretty wrong. But bookcase, begging student, very strong. But I'm super sad I didn't get the four clay now. Teal really, like, kind of doesn't even need. Like, they have so much food, but I, I would 100% just, yeah, build fireplace or hearth. I don't care which, but... I don't even know if they have to rush out bookcase deranged. Like, yes, it's fun to get max value out of bookcase, but again, this is one of those classic... This is one of those classic, like, arguments in terms of, like, in Agricola, there's these traps all the time to try to maximize each individual card. You, you can play bookcase one round later. Like, you can play bookcase and miss it once with Begging Student. Who cares? Still playing a minor for, like, five vegetables instead of six is totally fine. Like, I would... I just think there's so much value in getting a huge pile of sheep there. And because they need to take a food action anyhow. Like, yeah, I, I'm not, I, I would not have handed uh, the food downstream, but I'm not them. So I take three food. I can play Woodhunt Extender. You got to get that round two. So 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, again, this is like this is kind of like my game yesterday. When though, like we have two players that just have no room parts. They've set up everything, and it's just garbage. They have no room parts. Like you're, you don't have. You, you just have played too many wrong cards and taken too many wrong actions. You've already kind of lost the game in stage, especially if it's early growth. Wonder Boy is doing totally fine. I'm doing slightly better, I think. Um, but really, it's pretty equivalent. Uh, I do need to play Wood Hut Extender, so Wonder Boy probably builds in front of me. But probably Carrot Museum. It's possibly Carrot Museum, but... Carrot Museum doesn't have to get played until way later. Uh, I guess you need the vegetables, though, so fine. But you can still build the... F like, Deranged's line, that was totally fine. Build the fireplace, take the sheep, then play the bookcase. That's that's totally cool. But Olara now has food problems. Like, he can take Greenstone food, but then his stage 2 food is still going to be trash, too. Like, that, and he just takes one, two read. Like, I don't... He's, he's, he's in a lot of trouble here. Like, it's just the wrong sequence in... Still is going to take two read, but, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just bad. Uh, Teal gets to take, yeah, this Porter wood stack, which is very nice. Um, I think this is where I just play Wood Hut Extender. I don't want to build yet. Like, I do want to build, but I don't want to build without Wood Hut Extender, really. So, let's get Wood Hut Extender out. This probably leads Purple to just build, but I'm okay with that. I either get, like, four clay or three wood on the wheel, so... Akka's probably left over. Would I take three wood or reedstone food before that? Akka probably comes back, but I wanted the chance to build if it came back. I, I prefer to make sure that purple's actually building here. A and they probably were, but again, like, it's so hard to predict opponents sometimes. Like, purple's rated very highly, but... I don't know for sure that purple's going to build there because purple also has kind of some food issues here. I mean, Alaren takes the fishing, but I might get to... S oh, no, I can't start player. But I also have double build potential now, right? I take three wood here if it comes back and I can just double build. If growth flips, that's still very a very strong position. Um, taking four clay and just getting to the point where I get to build a fireplace at some point here too is good. Or play for my farm store... Like, I do think I need a hearth long-term, though, to feed, as I've said. Like, I don't think I'm going to survive this game otherwise. Teal's going to start player. Okay. I don't really know why, but I don't have to know why. I think I take three wood, then. Again, I need so much wood for this game plan. Just taking wood is great. These guys are playing too many cards that don't do enough. Okay, he undoes, but, like, you don't need to play large greenhouse here. Why? Okay, I'm not... That must be an accidental undo, or has a different thing. Has wood cart. Okay, so that's why we rushed the three ox to wood cart. So it almost came back to me, but that adds a lot of wood with mushroom collector. Like that's kind of fun, but yeah, I'm not sure these are the three ox I would have played. But again, I'm not them. Uh, I take three wood. I can thread a double build. So getting weird connection issues today. That's annoying. Reedstone food, just taking good strong actions for purple is fine. I would love five clay here. Five clay gets me the hearth. I'm not even convinced. Teal should take the sheep, but Teal has so much food. Teal kind of doesn't need to take the sheep stack. I mean, it probably is insanity, but I'm happy to take five clay. Very happy to build. We hope that purple's not going to squat for growth, but purple probably squats for growth. Most people fight for growth. Which is also where maybe I just don't pay. Ooh, patron. Okay, so their food's a little better than I thought. They do have a patron with their begging student. That's nice. Reno flips, not growth. That's a, that's a slight sad. Growth is just better, but... Delaying the build does save us wood. If we wait one more round for our double build, we save wood on it. So, I mean, nobody else is threatening build yet. So, actually, maybe... We probably don't build this round. Unless, well, unless we're forced to. But I'm happy to double build next round. Oh, actually, I could take Reedstone food and triple build next round. Uh, that's pretty tempting, too. But no, five clay is too important. Five clay is too important. <laughs> we, don't have a, we still don't have a way to feed otherwise. Uh, Reedstone food for purple. That's fine. Reedstone food does not come back. Purple is just taking it. Purple hasn't played Lock yet, which is kind of crazy. 
But yeah, redstone food doesn't come. But that's okay. Like, nobody else can build still. Like, these guys just can't build on me. So, double building next round is strong. Whatever. I will just probably lay down the five clay hearth here. I mean, Teal's going to presumably take the sheep next round. But having a hearth is still going to be good long-term value for me, I think. It almost has to be. Like, I just don't have other ways to feed. Yeah, I don't have other ways to feed. Teal's going to start player. Perfect. That's fine. So, yeah. Writing desk. Writing desk is a good card, too. We almost we almost got enough cards to make our stuff go right, but people did have things in the draft. I'm going to soak up this hearth, though. Teal probably takes the crazy sheep stack because it's what you're supposed to do, but it puts them a mile behind room building. And I, if I get a 12 food action next round incredible absolutely incredible oh i also could have built there wait what am i doing teal start player for me that was bad everybody I, sh I was supposed to build there yeah 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 that was actually really dumb teal just started for me what was i doing oh uh, that was bad that was actually really bad teal started for me to give me first growth i was just so locked in to try to steal these sheep but like there's like no way i get the sheep um yeah that was bad that was bad this is where you should think through your moves slightly longer. <laughs> this, this is where you can get tunnel vision on a plan and then forget about the fact that uh, start player totally just changed the grow dynamics. Constable is getting played. Is for Max Wood. Uh, purple can just build a room again, so this is also trouble. Even if I get left the sheep, now I have to give the next build to purple. So it's a little bit of trouble too, but... If I get the sheep, I have to take the sheep. But I'm presumably not going to get that, so I'll just double build next round. Um, and then I probably am going to have to bottom feed again, either take fishing or traveling. But that'll hopefully be the last time that I have to take an awkward food action. And from there forward, I should be fine. But yes, I have to take the sheep over that still. 12 food is such an incredible action. Like, I, I absolutely will take the sheep here if I'm offered them. 12 food is just so insane. It'll, 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 like, lead me to go so far. I'm talking about taking a three food action otherwise, right? Like, I can take an action that's literally four times better. Like, I'll happily save myself three feeding act. Like, I, if I can save myself a bunch of crummy feeding actions down the line, I'll take the sheep here and let purple build and double grow like whatever i mean yeah it's probably maybe it's too strong but i don't know i mean it partly depends on i guess when everybody else is gonna finally be ready to build too but i think i honestly have to take the sheep it's just it'd be i think it's so strong six sheep is such a nuts action like I, again, I don't know if it matters, though. Like, growth flips. Teal presumably takes sheep. I double build. But I probably won't have the issue. I agree. Like, Teal probably takes the sheep. But maybe Teal needs the two read too bad. I don't you know. We'll see. But, I mean, Teal doesn't actually need the food. That's the kind of wild part. But, yeah, no, he does just take it. That's fine. I double build here then. That's fine. I mean, I get guaranteed grow next round. I'll have to take one of these food actions on the wheel, but I have the hearth for long term. That's what I need. Teal will is Teal's not taking sheep again forever. So you gave yeah, I saw that econ shine. Um, but the upshot is uh, Jun played a little more too. Jun was still trying to push forward, and Jun had like a huge fall. So I'm still third. I'll take third in arena. Yeah, I'm a little surprised, Econ Sean, you were even playing arena. I agree on that front, too. I did not realize that you were still trying. Uh, do I build stables here? No, stables are a distraction. I can still work. Uh, I can very reasonably work on this big country game plan still. Um, I can try to plow five fields and fence these spaces and get, like, a big country for three or four points still. You were close to top ten, so... Yeah, Arena is very risky. Yeah, you absolutely can tumble down fast. I mean, that's what happened to John, right? He was at 18-14, one point ahead of me, and he's at, like, 17-60 now this morning. Um, 
He fell a lot. Hutto, though, has been on a good run. Hutto's won, like, five or six games in a row. He's up to, like, eight. He's almost, he's tri- He's quasi getting close to rage net, finally. But, yeah, I'm not messing around with it anymore. Yeah, Norton lost a bunch. Yeah, the only people, yes. So this is the other issue, exactly. The This is an issue we I've noticed in Terra Mystica in the past. It, like, in the last two weeks of season, the only people playing are very highly rated. And so the queue is just terrible uh so the fishing net means that this just helps wonder boat but wonder boat's also just gonna bottom feed so i'm not sure it matters here but i guess i just take traveling again my food is kind of awkward um the fact the sheep piled so high is a definitely slightly sad I was definitely supposed to just build and grow. I'm very I that was bad. Although I saved myself two wood by building this round, so like honestly it probably doesn't matter that much, but Wonder Boy is in a very good position still. Especially because Wonder Boy can like wow, Wonder Boy doesn't even take fishing here though. That's actually a little surprising that Wonder Boy doesn't take fishing. They've gotten a ton of readstone food actions though, obviously. Like I mean Wonder Boy's game's still plenty good. Wonder Boy gets to build this round too. Um, it's a bit gross. They're getting fishing anyhow. Well, I could just fish, but I guess they get the one fish food. But, like, if I take fishing here, well, they build a well or something. Teal's debating starting? What? Teal needs to take three reed here. Or take four wood. Or, prove me wrong, Teal can just do anything but that. Brushwood collector. Okay, you still have to take wood. Uh, I, I get that they have crazy wood cart, but they have porter. They have clay plaster. Okay. Uh, they're getting a lot of cards down, but it's coming really late. Uh, well, oh, I also have the option to just start player here. Am I supposed to just start? I don't think I have enough miners to play then, right? No, I really don't quite have enough miners. Is this a stork's nest? Oh, maybe it's a stork's nest, but they have no reed, so I'm still not that afraid. I think I have to just take four wood here. I need to take, like, every four wood action I'm allowed to in order to keep pulling off this big country game plan. And I think it's okay. If somebody's going to jump me in the growth queue, it's fine. Brushwood means no reed needed. You need a reed to play Stork's Nest. You can't uh, You can't just uh, magic that part away. So Teal needs to take wood, build a room, get a reed, play Stork's Nest. Still looks like they're a mile behind to me. So not too worried. Where's the reed cutter, Ock? Yeah. Um, purple did just build another room. Um, I mean, purple clearly... Purple's going to try to, like, take fishing, start... Like, purple jumping me here is a little tough for them. They they need, like, a food action, and then they have to start and grow. And if they do that, whatever. Hey, Zizek. Um... I'm still pretty happy here. I grow with Moldborn Plow. I still have some chances at a pretty damn good big country. I still have four rooms. Wow, they're going to renovate. Uh, given that you have a wood cart mushroom combo, I don't think you're supposed to do this game plan. Like, I get that you have cheaper clay rooms, but... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think purple getting to four before us is not a big deal. Completely agreed. It's just not a concern to me. Like, yay, pur purple is going to take their own fish in here and then start player on me. But whatever. Um, the bigger issue for me remains the food. The food is tight. Like, I have a hearth, but the food's... I mean, the food for purple long term is going to be tight too. I mean, they're going to take fish in here, which solves a lot, but... Um, after this, again, there's, I mean, they'll eventually build a well, like, it'll be fine, they're gonna have a lot of actions, they can corn scoop, I guess, they, they could feed off grain, nobody else is building ovens and stuff, but, Olaren starting here would be dreamy, uh, if Olaren just hands us the next growth, that would also be amazing, this board's kinda dry, although Olaren might just take the read for a double build, but, we can dream that Olaren has, uh, that, uh, the carrot museum and needs to start the carrot museum here. That would be, that would be so clutch if Olaren hands us the next growth. But nah, I just gonna take greenstone food. It's fun.
Oh, undoes. Undoes. Start player. Start player. Start player. But whatever. Oh, it is. Oh, my God, team. Yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Confirm this move. Play your carrot museum or a flail. I don't care. Oh, my God. Yes. Give us the growth. Oh, he did it. He confirmed. All right. <laughs> All right. There we go. Uh, okay. What do we grow with? Um, we grow clay supply. We don't have a food. Okay. This is awkward. Um, did they forget about the food from patron? No, I don't think so. I think they literally just don't know what to do there. And I think they felt they had to start player into build, which they kind of do have to start to build. Right. Otherwise, well, no, th they should have been able to tell wonder boy was going to start there, but if Olaren's not paying enough attention, Teal was going to build the next room. So maybe Olaren felt they had to start to build the room. If only we'd grown Lumber Mill and then grown Mode Board. Yes, Strange, I agree. It turns out it turns out that I should have kept uh, Lumber Mill. That would have been better. Yeah, so Zach, I, I agree. I think I think I, I think they just don't know what they're doing. I do have to grow Nada, but I can't even play Clay Supply, which is the biggest bummer. Like Clay Supply on growth here would be sweet, but this is where the lack of food this game is definitely hurting. But I should be able to grow, take two sheep. Hopefully board just flips. That would solve a lot of problems too. Uh but we'll see. We'll see. The fact that I just get to grow here is still very good. I mean, I'm growing f I'm growing second and third overall. I have seven extra wood. I have a mold board plow in play. Um, I think things are still totally fine. I mean, Wonder Boy has a lot of stone. Wonder Boy is certainly in the second best position just because he's actually grown and has rooms, but you'd be salty here as purple. Oh, I'd be, I'm salt. I, I'm pretty salty if I'm purple here too. Like, Olaren's not supposed to start. Like, he did start to build at Piers. Like, it's a somewhat understandable mistake, but I'd clearly be salty, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, this game is this game is tough watching these players not contest rooms and do what they're supposed to. Like, I got a lot of value sitting after them already. Um, the turn order has definitely been pretty nuts, but they do get the well. Absolutely, they get the well. They get some stuff. Uh, I do have to grow Nada. I'm not ready for this grow here. If only I could clay supply, but uh, I definitely need two sheep on the wheel here. But again, my food is also rough. Board did not flip. So the food situation this game for me is still pretty awful at the moment. Um, purple has to start player to grow next round now. Yep, that makes sense. So yeah, I pretty much almost like my round might have to just be like two sheep and a veg, which is gross but like the food is gonna slow this down a decent bit still teal should go f teal should have taken re well teal has brushwood so i guess they don't need it wow carriage trip for wonder boy why would you play carriage trip here just because you want the reed stack okay um yeah bmw is a good way for wonder boy to feed Wonder Boy has food problems too, so. Uh, anyhow, with Brushwood, I don't think Teal needed the read, but also for Teal, they played a Porter. That's a five read and a food action. Like, I agree. I would have been pretty tempted to just take that. But Teal can woodcart their way to a bunch of read and then build. But yeah, there's, there's some stuff happening. Passing Carriage Trip is dangerous, though. Like... I have enough actions to feed with Big Country if I'm feeling spicy. That seems very improbable. I plow, take two wood, plow, take wood, fence, Big Country, and still have an open space? I'm not, I'm not convinced I see it. I also don't think I'm feeling that spicy. That is the real answer. Um, I'll just take two sheep. Two sheep is underwhelming, but it's absolutely necessary. Uh, our food is not accelerating yet, so. Fencing seven? 
I would fence way more than that deranged. I mean, clearly HIKLJ is suggesting that I take some more wood and fence big still. Like, I can't hit big country without fencing very large. You meant seven spaces. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not ideal at all either. Why not three sheep? Uh, just in case Teal wants to kill me. I don't think I can afford to wait for the sheep. Just in, like, I'm going last next round. Like, Teal taking three sheep looks insane. But... I'm not going to risk it. I might just take Reedstone food on the wheel here, though. Uh, if Like, Purple almost has to build BMW, so I might be able to take Reedstone food into just building the well first action next round. And stealing the well also brings me great joy here and slightly alleviates my food. Oh, but Reedstone food is going to get taken. That seems very wrong. I think Wonder Boy's uh, drinking the Reedstone food Kool-Aid a little too far. Like, you got to build BMW there, right? Like, what if you don't get Major back next round? Yeah, I would not have done that. Uh, but I'm just going to take a three food. Well, am I taking a three food action yet? I have enough actions next round. I think I should double plow. I think I should start getting my plows out of the way. Maybe we steal the stone. I don't think the stone is great. You've played so many games where the food is awful. Yeah, the food is pretty awful. Teal decide like Teal played all these cards for the food, and then also got the like first fireplace hearth. Like he he's hogged all the food, but not grown. Um, and yeah, the food is definitely slowing me down. But oh well, we'll make do. We'll make do. Uh, the wood gets taken by Olar and fine. Teal might try to start player build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if somebody else had gone for it, that's true too. No, nope, Teal's just going to build. Okay, it's fine. Um, I think I might still take Reedstone food here, because uh, Olaren has to build BMW, so I still might get the well in front of them. Um, and Reedstone food coupled with a veg feeds me. So yeah, I think I take Reedstone food here. It's a little... Nah, it's not that much of a distraction. It, it also lets me build another room still if I want. I'm not convinced I should build another room, but I'm not not convinced. Um. Wow. Okay, do they have guaranteed reno here? Okay, they do have guaranteed reno. Okay, so that's why they're doing that. But I have the option to just build the well and then like take avenge this round. Fencing from Olaren here, okay. Olaren's not starting to grow, so Teal's going to start to grow, and I'm going to get a six wood action? This is what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, they ought to do, but yeah, you're correct, Zizak. Like, they have to start, but they're not going to. Yeah, that's nuts. Like, you can't start to build and then just hope to God Teal's not going to start player here. Like... Also, for people that were betting on Carrot Museum, no Carrot Museum. So remember that bookcase rush out? This is, again, where I'm going to argue, like, what do they need these vegetables for? The answer is nothing. They don't need the vegetables. Um, I It looks like I'm getting six wood here, too, which is incredible, right? Like, Teal has to start player into grow. Purple has to renovate BMW. So as long as I don't touch the three wood, I'm getting six wood here. Uh, so I think this is, I think my round is build well, take veg, double plow. I think that's just like too strong not to do at this point. It does mean that I'm not going to get the pair of boar next round, but I'm going to hit big country in this stage. Yeah, I think I just build the well here. I think that's just too good. I don't know where my stone's going necessarily. I have this stone thing for chimney sweep later. For renovating. Yeah, this is this is still good. Per again, purple has to just renovate BMW. So yeah, I get I get to take veg and get to double plow.
yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy. Purple maybe has some stone house cards. Maybe that's why purple took another reed stone food. Purple uh, purple almost has to have a, like some stone house game plan. I just don't remember what there was. There was groom, but I don't remember anything else. But I haven't seen their first pick, so maybe they still have a plow driver in here, which would be pretty sick actually. That's that'd be very cool. Uh, okay, what am I doing? I'm taking the veg. I said I take veg instead of a boar, uh, because I'd rather the food accumulate like. Olaren still might start player, and I might wheel the board next round, which also would still be very good for me. And then I have enough food, so I think, yeah, I just got to keep this plow going. I'm going to plow these spaces, um, and then this space could still be a room in certain, in certain scenarios. Um, and I have a sheep and a veg. I mean, I'm running tight on food, but... Consultant for Olaren. That's fun. I mean, you get to breed sheep, but also, how's Olaren? Oh no, Olaren is fed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eat, eat. Hearth is at least saving us a little bit. Getting six wood here is also just very good. Where's our milk jug when we need it? Yeah, we do need a milk jug. Um, but big country should help us. I still think. I still think there's probably enough food in a second here, too. Like, I'm not convinced Olaren even takes these pigs. And cows flip. Yeah, okay, this is very good. Like, I don't think Olaren needs the pigs anywhere near as bad as Olaren needs to start player to grow again, right? Like, I, I think I'll be fine. Uh, but I take six wood, obviously. Like, I want the pair of pigs just for food, but... Uh, six food here, like, or six wood, like, this, th I could actually pull this, I could pull big country off this turn, I could fence 12, plow, start player, big country, um, like, actually, yeah, maybe I don't touch the animal stacks, maybe, maybe I just plow, well, I'm not gonna get to start player, big country, Olaren takes four food, uh, okay, I mean, whatever, that's not the pigs, and <laughs> it's not start player for growth, so whatever. Uh, I'm just going to take plow here, and then maybe I take three wood in defense? Nah, just fence and play big country? I can re-fence this game on red fence or something. Oh, the pigs get taken, because sure, you needed more food there. Oh, you needed a you need a pig for truffle slicer. No, 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 that actually makes enough sense. Uh, okay, I definitely just plow here then. Like I could build the room still too, but I think the room is a distraction over just getting the field. Nobody's fencing. Wow, the wood is actually hilarious. I have twelve wood, and these guys have none and one. Uh, good times. Uh, what did Wonderboat open with? Four stone. Wow, what is Wonderboat doing with all this stone? Like, seriously, actually, why did Wonderboat want four stone? Just because four stone is a nuts action? But, like, what are you doing with it? Whatever. Uh, I'm very happy to fence 12 and then hopefully, like, start player into a pair of cows. Uh, that would be incredibly good. But we'll see. Crosscut wood. Oh, crosscut wood's in the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. We're taking, we're taking four stone because it really equals a crap ton of... It equals a bunch of wood later. Although I think I still feel like Wonderboat's renovating, right? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. But like they have to play a bunch of ox, and they have no food either. Like I don't, I don't see what they're gonna do. But it's fine. We're hoping Olaren doesn't start here because I would rather. I'd really like to start player the big country. Uh, starting with the big country is very good because it should guarantee the cows also. Although there's a scenario where Wonder Boy has to build a fireplace and take the cow here just because they're so hungry. Yeah, actually, Wonder Boy almost has to build a fireplace or, like, renovate to a fireplace. Wonder Boy's food is really bad, too. Fencing early helps with the constable here a lot. Again, like, making sure to fence. Alarn is going to start for grow. Okay. I hopefully get the cows anyhow. Wow, bottles. Okay. Well, that's a fun reason to, to have delayed the growth, but has no resources now either. I mean, at least has their fencing done. Um, 
Okay, do I just take the wood and fence 15 then instead? So taking the wood saves me an action later. It's going to cost me a point and two food, although I'm not guaranteed to get major here. Yeah, yeah, I should just take the three wood and finish my fencing. It's safer. It's, it's, it's better to do this. Just get my max pastures and then start player big country is very good too. He can just grade into Reno Stone Oven. Oh, he's going to double grade. Yeah, yeah, no, good call. You're right. He's probably double grading. Probably double grade into Red Stone Oven or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that's why he's taking the clay. Yeah, yeah. He. Wow, no. Wow, wow. He takes another Reed Stone food. Um, using the corn scoop here to feed himself, that made a ton of sense to me. Taking another Reed Stone food is very overvaluing Reed Stone food. As, if, coming from a lover of Reed Stone food, I've tried these game plans in the past, like... You can't take too many Reedstone food actions and not actually farm and other things, but whatever. Um, okay, priority next round is the pair of cows. Yeah, the pair of cows is still the priority next round, but we do really want to get out our big country. So we got to try to not get big country blocked. There is an Auk coming from purple. It's a clay hut builder. Okay, that's also unexpected. We're just building more rooms, I guess, instead of renovating, and we are eventually going to cross-cut wood, and we're going to just starve? Like, I don't understand how purple's going to feed. The grain thing made a ton of sense to Zach. You're right. The, purple absolutely should be taking double grain in order to feed. Like, corn scoop feeding here is actually pretty good, but you, you got to start taking the grain. You can't do this. Uh, we really hope that Teal doesn't just dog a pair of cows here. Like, Teal should... Teal has Porter Woodcart. They should take four wood. I should get the cows. Like, we'll see, though. But the cows... Cows are... Yeah. Cows would be very welcome. I guess if I don't get the cows, I still get the sheep. That's pretty good. But, God, a pair of cows here is, like, so many points and a bit of food. Carriage trip for Olaren. Oh, he's going to take the cows. God damn it, I forgot about carriage trip. Well, now we take the sheep. Um, I mean, the sheep are still good, but yeah, dumb carriage trip. Come on, Teal, use that carriage trip for us. You could have started, but yeah, we got slammed by carriage trip. Um, I mean, that's probably Olaren's best action. Olaren's working towards the... Oh, Olaren can't earn constable because they played begging student. Yeah, whatever. Three sheep's very good. We take three sheep. Uh, and then we just start player, uh, and then we, you know, we still do good things. We still do good things. We, we get to play big country. Purple has to take a really dumb fishing action. Purple not feeding off of their grain is definitely a mistake. Like, it's a pretty big mistake, I think, actually. Uh, I do need four clay in order to reno, so that part actually needs to be watched here too. Um, but we do wheel start player, so that's pretty damn good. A 3.6 food big country is still pretty dang good. Uh, we're not that far away from constable stuff. I mean, it's going to take a little bit, but we have a lot of actions. Uh, my next actions might just be like veg and grain. I don't think... Well, I could maybe Sheepwalk or some shenanigans this game otherwise, but eh, it's not clear that I'm going to Sheepwalker, and I don't think I'm going to get away with Seed Trader. If I got the cows, I might have been able to Seed Trader, but yeah, getting cow blocked is rough. Uh, Venge and a pig might also be okay. It's not clear to me that I'm going to get a pair of pigs, so I might have to take them individually. There's not a lot else on this board for me. I mean, Reedstone food is like my reno getting to a renovation for me is actually a little awkward, but Reedstone food's not terrible. Teal builds two stables. Um, okay. Sure you do. Uh, vegetable. I eventually want to sow crops. Yeah, vegetable seems solid. I mean, whatever. It's a constable game. I gotta just get my constable stuff also. If plow so flips, I don't even know if I take it. 
Oh, I maybe should have taken grain there, though. Purple really should finally, like, grain and renovate to a stone oven. Or oh, they're going to build more rooms. I got. I don't know what's happening, actually. Whatever. Um. Yeah, family growth doesn't flip. Do I just take a pair of pigs? Am I supposed to set up for acorns basket? Breeding pigs this harvest? I can't breed pigs this harvest. That's the only problem. I don't have I don't have time to play. I don't have enough food or time to play Sheepwalker and uh take a pig. So I can't. Sheep Oh, you think I should play Sheepwalker and just breed pigs instead of sheep? Teal does have the truffle set up. You're absolutely right. Teal wants to take a ton of wood, has a ton of food. Teal has the truffle set up for sure. Uh, Ock just got taken. Uh, Winter Caretaker. So Winter Caretaker is good, but Purple, again, has no vegetables for this. Purple will absolutely need to take grain sooner. I think I just take grain here then. I definitely can't afford two food Sheepwalker. I mean, I could because I'd be breeding pigs instead, but I don't think that's worth it. I think just take the grain. I might open next round a pair of pigs regardless, to be honest. Even if family growth flips, I don't even know if I take it. Like, I gotta, I gotta take growth if it flips, right? Probably have to take growth if it flips. I still have Sheepwalker as a way to get the pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have to take growth. But if growth doesn't flip, I absolutely take the pigs. Uh, I don't need Plowso, um as much as I need the pigs, so... But honestly, this feels pretty good. I'm up... I'm up a ton of points on my competitors. I mean, Wonder Boy has a ton of resources, but like, I also have a lot of points still left in Reno. I'm going to hit the Constable, so that's going to be three more points. It's not totally clear to me I'm going to get to Chimney Sweep. The Reno queue is a little annoying, and Chimney Sweep is awkward for me um, because I need, I need two stone for Chimney Sweep, and I need another read for Reno. So, like, it's a lot of actions, actually, to get the Renos done still, but we'll see. I'm, I could take two Reedstone food actions and a clay action and Chimney Sweep, and then be able to play Acorns. So, like, it's quite a few actions, but again, like, what are the rest of my actions need to be this game? It's essentially take animals, maybe take a few more crops, take a sow. Like, the thing is, I have 12 actions, and I'm pretty... Like, I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty done with a lot of my farming. Like, so that's also pretty dang good for me. The uh, carriage trip should only be good for me at this point. I mean, Teal might carriage trip, but then they're going to be start player or they're giving it to me. Otherwise, I get the carriage trip. So, oh, hey, we have an update. Do, do, do. Uh, by an update, sorry. The reason that I'm streaming midday today is because uh, I can't work at the moment. Uh, our data center is like mega effed up and I can't access any of the info I need to actually do my job. And the update says uh, I still can't work. So there we go. All right, what flips? Uh, do, do, do. I do still need a ton of food, by the way. So that's where taking the parabore, like, the more I'm looking at it, it might be just take the parabore. Like, I need so much food to get through, but God, growth does flip. God, okay. Do we take growth? You almost have to take growth. The only thing is I don't think I get the boar back because Olaren is just going to take the boar. So that part's sad. But then I, I also need the four clay with a lot of priority here. So, I mean, Olaren taking the four clay is also just annoying. You need more of these updates? What updates? You need more of the updates that say that you can't work? Yeah, I mean, getting getting an update that tells you you can't work is pretty pretty fun. Uh, JFG? All right, JFG. It's got, I, I agree, it has to be worth it here. It's a three-point action that comes with two actions back. Oh, Purple's going to start player, though. That sucks. Crosscut Wood, finally? Yeah, okay. Purple starting is very painful, though. Um... But whatever, especially knowing that the carriage trip is somewhere else. Wow, the clay does get taken. So I'm very likely to get the boar at least, but the clay pressure on Reno is horrible now. The Reno queue is gross, but I mean, I also get the pigs. All right, don't get the pigs because carriage trip is getting played now. Okay, I still do get the pigs. Okay, why is this that bad? Uh, 
Being last here is just unfortunate, potentially, because hitting Constable gets a lot harder if Olaren had taken the pigs. I could have had a lot of weird pressure on Reno and pigs and other stuff. Um, I mean, I still have a lot of... I have to get, like, four clay next round. Why they played carriage strip there? Yeah, no, I agree. It makes no sense. Uh, they shouldn't have. But pe to be fair, the carriage trip use... Well, carriage tripping for a pair of cows is maybe okay, but the carriage trail is enough. Not sure I get the stone. I'm not sure I get the stone either. Family growth was not blockable. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, right? They could have just plowed. Yeah, yeah, they had guaranteed family growth. Good point. Uh, well, whatever. They did things. I don't know what's happening. Uh, do I take a single cow here? Probably. I really don't have a lot else to do this round is the other awkward thing. Um, I can't renovate. I can't take reno parts. It looks like Olaren is at least going to be a deer and renovate this round. Uh, yeah, I guess actually at this point, you guys are right. Like, there's no way I'm actually chimney sweeping this game anyhow. Let's just take the cow. That gives us constable already. So, yeah, we're up to 40 points. We're up to 40 points in round... 12 and we have 11 actions left um i'm pretty sure this is what winning looks like um i mean wonder boy has a million resources to their credit but they have no fields um like we'll see but being at 40 already feels yeah like i say pretty winning what do we eat now that's the thing our food is still very bad so I potentially, like, what? I take a vegetable here, and then I try to sow some veggies. Like, I need a lot of food to end this game out with. I could also be working towards trying to play acorns, although acorns isn't going to do anything for me. Can sheepwalker sow? Oh, sheepwalker sow. And then use all the... Yeah, turn, so two, turn two sheep into two vegetables and have a ton of veggie fields. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. That's pretty good. Uh, hey, the two grain finally gets taken by purple. Sheepwalker is pretty neat here because I might, I probably get a pair of sheep. Ne well, do I get a pair of sheep next round? See, I mean, this is the hardest thing. I have a million actions next round, but it's really hard to say what all my actions are actually going to be. Um, I really want, like, I'm taking four clay, like, first action next round, right? Like, four clay happens. I might even just carriage trip plus four clay. Like, I probably should just carriage trip to lock up start player next round because I have that many actions. Yeah, SP carriage trip into four clay is actually probably what I do. I'm just going to have too many actions otherwise. Uh, I probably am not getting so blocked next round, although I could be. So, I mean, that's actually the other awkward thing here. It's not guaranteed I get to so, but I have to take the four clay. Olaren is not renovating this round, so yeah, that's also pretty killer. Who cares if we give Carriage Trip to Purple next round deranged? What what are you gonna do with a Carriage Trip in round like I'm I'm starting with it in round thirteen. What what does a Carriage Trip do after that? A Carriage Trip just like wastes an action basically, like it it doesn't actually do anything at that point. Um, okay. Some people have said the sheepwalker thing. I'm open to the sheepwalker thing. But can't I just sheepwalker next round, potentially? Like, maybe. I'm not convinced in sheepwalker here, actually. So I think I'm going veg instead, just because it's the best food action for me. Maybe this is wrong, but uh, it's what I'm doing. If I SP carriage, I get to clay. Yeah, I start player carriage trip and take clay. I agree. You were thinking they might reno and then block something I wanted. Oh, they might, but they need to reno stone oven. Actually, they probably reno stone oven here, or are they still going to build a room? I don't understand their clay hunt builder. I don't know. The reno queue is awful. Like, absolutely awful, by the way. Um, Like, Olara, not, nobody renovated in round 12. Yeah, like, I, 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 I'm start playing for reno, probably, but... um. Like, I, I'm using so many actions. Like, despite the fact I have 10 actions remaining in this game, those 10 actions might only score, like, <laughs> 8 points or something. Oh, it is going to be Reno Stone Oven, though. Okay, that opens up the Reno queue a bit. There's a chance that I still run out of stone this game, then. Um, maybe. Maybe. I guess Olara looks like they might be trying to double Reno or something. Who knows? W w whatever. This is okay, though.
again, I'm I'm up twenty points on the table, and I have the most actions. Like it, it, this hardly can go that wrong. Um, a cow this round is obviously still a great action. Uh, it's just unlikely. I'm not convinced I get a cow because again, there's a constable in play, and these players need to get a lot of shit done, and I'm last. But again. Carriage trip, four clay, those are important. Sewing is good. The cow is good. Two sheep is fine. A four food action. Given that actually I have all of that to do, I think run it, I think trying to run into stone probably is just a mistake. But even if like even if I let Alara run out to stone, two players getting in stone means that I still have like a last action chimney sweep for two points. And hey, having a two point action at the end of the game where the board's gonna be pretty damn dead for me is also just totally fine. Like, if I don't get to stone myself, but I still have a two-point action, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, an open plow so there, that makes enough sense. I mean, the plow pressure is incredible. Like, hitting constable, like, I'm the only person hitting constable, right? I mean, I guess Wonder Boy could fence huge, and then I'm going to start player, and they'll take a plow, but... Wonder Boy probably doesn't hit Constable anyhow, though. The animal pressure. I mean, this is the... When you play Constable, the biggest... The biggest tip I have for everybody to make sure you hit Constable, you have to fence early. Like, you have to have room to hold the animals. The problem is if you... Like, if you wait to fence until Wonder Boy here in a Constable game, like, you're just not going to get the animal grabs. It's just not going to happen. Uh, the plow happens. Uh, this is definitely carriage trip and four clay. I mean, I, again, I have to secure the reno. And I have enough actions. I may as well just guarantee I'm first player next round. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to lock up the renovate here. Teal might sew on me this round at some point, but it's okay. Purple is just going to fence. Makes sense. I'm curious how they fence, though. I'm thinking it's going to be a huge box, though. Like, they're going to attempt to hit Constable. Yeah, they are going to try Constable. I just don't think they're ever going to get the animals here. Especially because I think they're my only competition, so I will absolutely just block their animal next round. I'm pretty sure I just take the cow on the wheel here. Like, the cow is a two-point action for me. Uh, or it's just food, which I still need food. Like, again, I maybe should be sewing for food, but I'll, I can do things if I have to. Uh, taking the cow and making sure that I just have, like, unassailable points is more interesting to me. Plus the cow, yeah, I mean, the cow is a four-food action otherwise. Um, Alaren looks like they're trying to set up for some crazy reno. I mean, what is all this stone? Oh, Alaren has cross-cut wood now. So Alaren is setting up to cross-cut wood? I don't, whatever. Not a concern. Um, I will take a cow... I just like having all the animals. Reno? Uh, I could renovate here, but like, why? What What am I ren? I guess just so Alaren doesn't. But again, like, I'm okay if Alaren wants to double Reno. I really don't like. I think me trying to renovate to stone is just too many actions at this point. I don't think I have enough to do it. My last actions here maybe should just be grain and sew. I mean, grain and sew look very good here, also. The food, my food's pretty bad. I agree. I have a huge family and I have a hearth and I have dreams. Do I even take the grain, I guess, is the question here. I probably should just sow. The pro I want to take the grain and then sow, but uh, taking the grain and then sowing might be just too greedy. Teal's best move might be to sow. <laughs> uh yeah to be fair it is it is nice to be in one of these games where i'm like oh yeah i've just won this game like nobody can beat me and i can just do whatever i want it is it is it is a welcome change of pace uh just sewing here is pretty good i can just like open next round plow sew then and just re-sew the grain and stuff that's probably just cleaner yeah let's just do that it's fine 
getting so blocked by teal would be pretty rough, so. I probably do just take a boar here as a three food action then. Yeah, I take the boar as three food. I eat a veg and I eat a sheep. And then I open next round plow sow and I sow a grain and a veg. And then I just, ooh, feed fences for teal. That's very nice. That's cool. It's very cool. Teal grows feed fences as their last action. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, you're calling that Gray is going to play layabout in bank three? Oh, yeah, I missed that Gray has no food. Oh, oh my god, yeah, good call, Econ Sean. He's going to play layabout and beg more because he's he has no way to eat any of his animals. He has no food. Also, by the way, everybody, he sowed veggies at some point. Oh, because he has a fodder planter. Uh, so can we talk again about this bookcase? Um, oh, it could be Potato Harvester. That'd be sweet. I think Potato Harvester was in the draft. Yeah, yeah. Potato Harvester might be the play. But I'm going to I'm gonna loop back to the... Uh, again, you don't... Sometimes in games, like, you can't just set up all your stuff and then grow super late. It, like, you have to... You have to learn the tempo between... You can do a little bit of setting up, but you got to make sure that you do the really, like, big stuff still, too. Uh, I'm going to take this pig. Uh, again, like, I have a million actions and whatever. Oh, actually, there's going to be a pair of pigs next round otherwise. Oh, but not too many people want the pig. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to do it. Like, it's food. I'm taking a lot of three food actions, but again, I'm also at 45. I'm up. I'm up 11 on everybody. I still have the most actions next round. I do have a guaranteed four-point reno. I'm breeding all the types. It is Potato Harvester. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool for Alarn. Potato Harvesting here for some food is great. Um, Alarn does have a big issue on food, though, still. Although, <laughs> big issue on food coming from, uh, like, the crazy hungry guy still. For the record, everybody, this is why I said I would have taken like I would have taken those sheep in round six if I off if I was offered that twelve food action. Just think about how much more my game would have accelerated if I didn't have to keep taking all these awkward feed actions. Like, yes, I would have grown a bit slower, but I would have taken that deal every which day if I had been offered it. I was up a lot of actions, though, this route. That's true. But the thing is, I think in the other scenario, like, I actually could just start player clay supply. I, I can force my way in. Like, I would have been down 2-4 only one round. Then it would have been 3-4. Then it might have just been 4-4. Four, four. Uh, but, yeah, admittedly, purple gets away with a lot more stuff, and purple's really my only competition. So, although purple's food would have been trash, too. I don't know. It's probably true. It probably doesn't matter much. Really, the main issue, really, the main lesson here is the fact that both me and Purple got to grow to four before either of these players grew to two. That doesn't, that's usually not a good sign. Although, I guess to be fair, neither of these players are that far behind Wonder Boy. Uh, Wonder Boy really hasn't accelerated out of their early growth very well. They, I think they really messed up their food by not going for this stone oven stuff sooner. But they're still going to score pretty well anyhow. Like, they have a lot of two-point actions left, so. Um, but. <laughs> yeah, my work's, uh, my work's network coming back online. Um. Yeah, my my work's network is definitely my biggest competition for playing today. Um All right. Teal is desperately trying to hit constable here, but again, like just nobody's going to get the animals. I think I just take the cow right now. I still need food. This is a four food action that guarantees nobody else hits constable. 
and my path to renovating is wide open. The double reno dream is still just a dream. It's so many actions. I don't think it can be worth it. Like, I don't have enough food. So just take a four food action and make everybody else suffer. Gray is hitting constable. Gray is not hitting constable. Gray has a begging student. Gray is literally ineligible for constable. You didn't see that they'd already stable blocked. Again, that doesn't matter. They have a begging student. You can't win constable with a begging student, so. Oh, game trade was in the draft, though. Look at Wonder Boy with the plays. Wonder Boy sneaks a constable in here and is remarkably close. Uh, again, I still have a big renovate, so I should just beat them. But uh, that that was fun. I, I said in the draft that game trade could be pretty sweet in a constable game. Uh, and there we see exactly why. So, uh, what am I renovating with, team? Do I have anything to renovate to that is points? Um, I guess I could go for a clay oven. Uh, that's a lot of actions for not a lot of points. Um, I currently have two... I, I have exactly one extra animal of each. So I have nine food. So I'm exactly fed, and I have one extra grain, actually, which allows me to still play Chimney Sweep for two points. Chimney Sweep is two points. Why am I bricklayering? Uh, bricklayer, oh, it lets me fireplace. Yeah, I see, I don't think that's worth it. Olarn is going to try to renovate joinery here or something, so I probably should just block Olarn if I care. Like, I'm not getting red improvement otherwise, but I guess what... Yeah, I'm not improving anything, so I don't care. Huh, what am I doing for points? This is a little awkward. I have three actions. One is Chimney Sweep, one is Reno. So then the other action is Tie Break. Or it's just making sure purple doesn't score more. Grain is a point, except I'm currently eating that grain in order to play my ox. So yeah, that's actually not going to work. Maybe I just take another boar. Boar is a point for them. Sure, I just take this boar. Yeah, whatever. Four wood for tie break is best. Four wood for tie break maybe is best. Yeah, I, I debated that too. Purple played another improvement. Interesting. Slightly concerning that they still have things they want to play here. Okay, they undo. That's slightly encouraging. How is purple feeding, by the way? Purple, oh no, purple eats their guilds. Okay, purple has the guilds to feed here. Yeah, purple's pretty point capped though, so yeah, I, I should just be fine here. Um, I, I again, I, I renovate as a four point action, and then I play a two point chimney sweep because Olaran is presumably renovating again. So, Wonder Boy's taking a one point so action. Okay, yeah, I, I've still won, but yeah, that uh, that game trade was sick. That was that was sweet. That was just just snuck the constable in here at the end. But yeah, really, again, this game is just a strong example of, like, when you play, like, actual experts, like, when we've done the all-player commentary stuff, or not, well, not all commentary, but all streamer games, like, pretty much everybody is ready to build a room by, like, the start of round five. Like, people just, people do small amounts of setup, but they make sure they do their rooms. The biggest, I think, mistake in just watching these players' games today is, like, you just saw that they just weren't ready to build, and then growth hits in six. And me and Purple just got to grow a bunch because we took all the room parts and we both double built. And these guys were just so far behind on rooms. And it's just really hard to win from that position. Uh, I'm renovating and I'm playing Chimney Sweep, correct? Yeah, that's the talk. So Chimney Sweep's a two-point action. And Reno, yeah, Teal can't Reno. It's a stone. Our first pick, Chimney Sweep. Boom, two points. 
Oh, also the other lesson, fourth pick, wooden hut extender, probably shouldn't be. Um, wooden hut extender is very good. A bean field for purple. Okay, that's also, yeah, fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, wood hot extender is a very good card. Probably should not be a fourth pick. It's not clear to me that Teal played a single card better than wood hot extender. Uh, in fact, they didn't. I mean, Teal just absolutely did not play a single card better than wood hot extender. Purple first pick patron begging students, so that's why they didn't take wood hot extender. That's defensible. What did purple first pick? Oh yeah, that's a great question too. I did not see, I saw all three of these cards. So yeah, what is purple first picking? Uh, I will rewatch the draft because that's actually a really fascinating question. I, I passed constable in my first pack. So purple second pick the constable. I saw winter caretaker. I saw clay hunt builder. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very intriguing question. Childless? No, there's no way they first picked a childless. If they first picked a childless, they had the ability to play a childless game. Like, they played a fishing net instead. Like, they're too strong of a player. There's no way. They got distracted by the fishing net. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a nonsense take. Like, that's obviously not what happened. Uh, a 53 here is pretty good. Wonder Boy is still going to be reasonably close. I mean, Wonder Boy is going to hit 48 here, I think. Uh, oh, no, they, no, 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 they eat a read. Never mind. I thought they could buy the veg. Oh, they still can buy the veg off Winter Caretaker. They have an extra grain. So Wonder Boy will hit 48 to my 53. That's pretty good. Uh, the best card they passed was the Patron, so it's not clear it was a bomb card. Um, It's not clear it was a great card, but Patron's pretty good. Like, even though I don't love it, Patron's a fine enough card. Like, you... Whatever they first pick should have probably been playable, but eh, it doesn't always have to be. Um, But I, I mean, I'm curious what it is. Like... It's very interesting. Um, Teal still gets up to a 42. Um, and again, that's fun. But when Constable's in the game, and yeah. I mean, b third pick Big Country also. Like, I just was at the best point in the draft. Like, I didn't, again, I didn't even, like, super use it. But again, like, I think Big Country... Big Country probably is strongest if you just, you know, do the dumb, like, rush two rooms and type game plans a lot of the time. But I think Big Country is just a dumb, flexible card. I think you can totally Big Country, yes, on four-room families. You can go five rooms and, like, play it for just one or two points late. It's fine. You foresee Cottager hoping for day labor combos? That's what you think they first picked? Yeah, that could be. It could be they just first picked some day labor card. Difficult to do big country and CD. I mean, I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> There's some more plow help. I mean, you, I don't know. I just did a fine big country game. Now, admittedly, I guess things broke reasonably well here, including that six wood grab, but I think there's a lot of ways this game still could have gone pretty well, but maybe not. More difficult to win with two room big country. Yeah, I think that part's probably true. Stable Architect from Alaren. Oh, wow, yeah, that stable block really, really cost him some points. Um, uh, all right. Um, yeah, what are we eating, by the way? Again, just like one of every animal in our grain. Yeah, that's fine. That's what, That's the plan. So we end the game with like two grain points, four veg points. We end the game with Two points of boar, two points of sheep, three points of cows. We got max fields, max pastures, four-room clay house. Decent off-board points, a three-point big country. Got a four-point well. Got a two-point chimney sweep. So yeah, like 10 points off-board. We hit max family size. Good stuff. Kind of just did a little of everything. Well, Lauren's snagging our two cows with a uh, carriage trip, though. I, I really, like, again, carriage trip didn't do that much this game to really mess with things, but I just think it's such an annoying, like, weird card. Like, 
every round you have to be paranoid somebody's gonna carriage trip it makes planning rounds so hard if you actually are like i thought i was planning for cows there that round i was planning for six wood admittedly somebody could have carriage tripped it like constantly remembering carriage trip and accepting that like the normal flow of the game can be broken at any time is i don't think it's a fun card i don't think it i don't think it helps make the game better so i really hope we can just ban it for annoying reasons because it's just it is it's just annoying but i've tried to argue in the thread that we should ban it before the arena season but i'm not sure anybody i don't i don't know who really makes the decisions and there's just not that many people actually saying anything I almost wish we could like use, I guess, the guru system to create a vote, or we could actually create a poll. Maybe I could add a poll to the thread. Maybe maybe people would actually vote if they could just vote instead of having to write a comment, but I would like enough feedback for them to actually just do it, but at least fix it so you can't scholar it. I didn't know that you could scholar it, but yeah, that's clearly wrong. Um... Being able to scholar it is absolutely busted, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's an obvious bug, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wonder Boy does hit 48, so yeah. I mean, uh, only a five-point win at the end here. I mean, maybe, again, I might have lost a little value at the end, though. I'm not totally sure I played entirely as clean right at the end as I was supposed to, but whatever. It's, uh, it's the first time I've been over 600 ELO in Agricola, so that's fun, also. Don't really care though but it's fun uh but yeah nice to nice to have just a smooth win there with a like it was a fine hand but it wasn't it wasn't like again it didn't feel nothing in my hand was like dominated i just had a solid draft had solid cards and then i did solid things with them so i was sitting after the right people probably is obviously the other big one uh let's see what wonder boy first picked uh because we never actually saw them play it and so yeah, I'm curious what it was and why we did, why we got Woodhut Extender. They have a grocer they couldn't pay for. That's what happened. A grocer they couldn't pay for. That's okay. I mean, it makes enough sense, but also like, yeah, that's, that's sad. That's rough. Um, not being able to pay for grocery. They could have paid for grocery actually though. That's actually the crazy thing. The, their, their corn scoop baking totally would have worked. Should have picked Harpooner instead of Grocer. <laughs> nah, they should have picked Grocer. They just should have played into it. They absolutely had the opportunity to be taking grain seeds a little more often and so baking off of it and then trying to plow some field. Like, they could have got something working on that front. Um, instead, they just took an insane amount of stone and, like, played into... I think they got way too distracted by playing into cross-cut wood on some level and then they just never like they did all of their plowing and fences and everything late their food was bad for like a long time until they finally clay stone oven i think they could have the clay oven was still available at the end of the game too actually i think they could have i think they could have used corn scoop like they had enough action advantage this game i think they could have corn scooped and really used the grocer but i guess they got winter caretaker winter caretaker is like kind of grocer and so that's why they dropped the grocer this trickle of resources maybe didn't matter to them compared to just playing Winter Caretaker and doing essentially what Grocer does. But, yeah. Okay, I mean, first picking Grocer is entirely defensible. And then picking Patron when you have a begging student is defensible. Um, it still doesn't actually explain why I got past these things. Teal definitely drafted pretty poorly. Um, I didn't see Cowherd, so Teal... Teal drafted Cowherd instead of Wood Hut Extender or Winter Caretaker, so that's definitely wrong. Um, so I also was sitting after the best spot in the draft is the answer then, because there's no way. There's no way I was supposed to get some of the stuff I did. But as I said, Teal's hand was pretty bad. Like, I think Teal first picks the pet lover here. Now, admittedly, this opening pack is pretty weak. I'm not a big fan of Pet Lover, but maybe it's defensible enough here. And then they take the writing desk. Oh, no, they took the porter first. Okay. I mean, pff, I don't think that's great either. But again, this pack is weak, so whatever. I don't really care. 
Second picking Brushwood is pretty bad in my opinion. I'm warming up to Brushwood being better than I used to thought. But just take Wood Collector here. Like, I think Wood Collector is better by quite a bit. I also do not take Stone Cart instead of, like, these pack is so good. Wow, there was blueprints in the game. Nobody blueprinted, by the way. I totally forgot that nobody blueprinted. Stockman Wheel Groom. <laughs> yeah, that's not that great, but... Um, but yeah, Truffle Slicer, Blueprint, Big Country, Lumber Mill, very good. Stone Cart, not that good. It's fine, but I don't I don't like I don't like Teal's draft, so I was definitely sitting I was sitting in a good spot. Uh they took Harpooner instead of Woodhunt Extender or Winter Caretaker. I think that's pretty bad. But there was a there was a herring pot, herring pot harpooner, I guess that's what you gotta go for, but Clay supply is also really good. So yeah, I think I think I, I benefited a lot from sitting after Teal here. You're lower on blueprint in this format. In draft seven, it's a bit better. Interesting. Why do you think that? Well, I, in draft nine, you're not as happy with blueprint because the miners are too good, and so you don't want to replace your minor actions with major improvements. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes enough sense, actually. You're right. I mostly play draft seven, and so I find blueprints to be really good. Being able to being able to just build guilds sometimes for one stone less on minor improvement actions. Like, you can start player blueprints and grow with a BMW in, like, the mid-game. That often feels pretty damn awesome. But I get what you're saying. The miners, once you start playing higher draft counts, and a lot of these CD drafts have really good miners, so... Eh, okay, I can accept blueprints is maybe not quite as good when you're doing like draft nine and, and draft ten stuff. I still think it's pretty good though. Being able to just start player like a pottery in the mid game or something too, like it's pretty nice. But yeah, I do agree. That's the biggest part though. You're right. When you take when you take blueprints, you feel kind of obligated to use it and get guilds. And fitting that into the game plan doesn't always work. So it is a, it is kind of a tricky thing to draft for at times. Uh, Teal, Teal at least makes a good pick here. Field Fences is very strong uh, and is probably the best miner left. So I think that's fine. Clay Plaster is also defensible, although Carpenter Carpenter's just better than Clay Plaster. Carpenter lets you discount any room type. Clay Plaster only discounts clay rooms. It does discount your clay reno. So, I mean, like, there is that, but... Yeah, yeah, if you if you want to do a clay game plan potentially. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and with Porter, you kinda of do want to do a clay game plan. Porter's best use is to take four clay and get an extra clay and a food. Because you can get four clay fairly regularly and you can't get four of other stuff as assuredly. But Alright, well whatever. That was a fun little review. It was a fun uh fun thing to stream. I'm probably gonna take a break and have lunch and poke around my work stuff and see if I can actually do anything. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I stream one more game today since I, I work continues to email telling me that I, I can't access systems, meaning I can't work. So until that resolves, I guess I have a day to do whatever I want. Um, but let's see quick. I think Lumen's about to stream. I'm going to see if he's live already. Probably not. But uh, no, nah, he doesn't seem out. But I'll go mess with him once he actually gets online. But uh, for now, I'm going to head off. But uh, yeah, this is just a fun, smooth game. Thanks all for hanging out and talking. Uh, I will see you around who knows when. But uh, yeah, later, everyone.